When using EBSCOhost to search for library articles and other resources, please visit the library's homepage and then click on the EBSCOhost link. You may be asked for your login and password if you're off campus. And what you'll see is a series of search boxes and you'll see that you are currently searching Academic Search Ultimate. That is the default database that this EBSCOhost searches. If you would like to search other databases, please select the Academic Search Ultimate link and it will show you a list of all the other databases available through EBSCOhost. If you're not familiar with what these databases uh, contain or the types of articles that they will result in, please visit the library's homepage and search the A to Z database list for more information. Once you've decided which databases you would like to select and search, you can start to type in your search terms. Let's pick something fairly generic like global warming. You'll notice that it populates a search box with other alternative uh, search terms. These are things that other people have tried to search in their uh, research. I usually will, you know, if I see something that looks good, I may add it. I can always select that. It will do a combination search for me. Other times I just go with what I think is best and see what the results look like. You'll see down below, you can limit to full text. You can look at peer reviewed and you can also limit by the date. These are all options you'll have available to you after you conduct your search. Click the search button to see what your results are. And here we have a list of a huge number of results, 28,000 results. Again, I can always select to limit by full text. I can then select to limit by peer reviewed, and I can do any combination of these as well. And I can say, let's just do this within the last five years. My source type is to limit by academic journals, magazines, conference papers, and anything else that may come into the result list, it'll be listed there. If I want to limit to academic journals, I can do that and apply the results. Most of these will be academic journals because they're from peer-reviewed sources. Once I see that I have a list of results, I can read the title, I can read a little bit of the abstract. Sometimes I may have to show more on that abstract to get a full view of it. And then I see I have access options. Those access options will typically include PDF, or they may have some other online full text availability. In selecting that particular format, it will open up the article. In this case, I selected it would be full text, so it pulls open the full text article. I typically have options to save this item. I can also cite it using the quotation icon. I can add it to a project. This is uh, something that's available to you if you create an a, um, an account within EBSCOhost, you can then save your projects. And you can also share this um, article. Sharing will include options to email. So you can type in your email address, click send, and it will send you a copy of the article. You can also see there's a download option. So if I were to click that option, it will pull up uh, some information. You know, do you want to do it in an online full text HTML version or the PDF? And you can download it to your local drive or thumb drive. Typically, when you're using EBSCOhost, you will have uh, multiple boxes to search in to begin with. And then once you do your search, it'll try to put it all in one search line. You can always click on Advanced Search to the right and see that you have options to add additional search terms. So if, it, if I were to look for global warming and climate change and maybe something like policy, it would then limit my search to those articles that also mention the word policy. I'm going to pay particular attention to these subjects because these subjects are very important to how EBSCOhost organizes its information. If you have any questions about how to use EBSCOhost, please reach out to the librarians. We're more than happy to help. Uh, this is sort of a, just a quick brief overview, but there's a lot more that has to offer. And again, if you have questions, reach out. Take care.